I mean, obviously uh, today we, we didn't play well. I mean, it, it was embarrassing. It, uh, you know, to have that happen, you know, here at home. It's a good football team. I gotta, I gotta give them the credit. But um, you can't have that many penalties. You can't turn the ball over, and you have to be able to uh, do something to stop the run, and particularly the passing game. Got to put pressure on the quarterback. We didn't do a very good job today. Obviously, um, got a lot of work to do, and uh, we got to take ownership in this, and then uh, move forward and get ready for our first uh, our first conference game. You raise your hand for questions. We'll get the mics to you. Mike, you guys uh, cut it there to, to you know, 24 all, or excuse me, 31-24, um, and they hit you with that 72-yarder. How kind of deflating was that? I mean, it was the second play of that drive, and that kind of sprung that, the rest of that fourth quarter. Yeah, disappointing. You know, it's an explosive play. It led to points, um, you know, but if that does happen, you have to turn around, and you got you know, to be resilient. You got to bounce back from that, and we didn't do a very good job of bouncing back today. You know, even with the sudden changes, trying to stop them, they, they – they ran their offense, give all the credit to the quarterback. He runs their, their system in a, in, a, in a very efficient manner. And uh, they outplayed us in every aspect, and they deserved to win. Uh, Mike, what, what, did, what do you make? What is your quick take on, on the penalties, particularly the, the personal fouls? What do you attribute those things to? Uh, you know, just a lack of poise. You know, when you uh, – there's about – I can probably count three or four of them that extended – the drives or third down penalties that extended the drive and that's you know and that's that's something that that hurts you and it particularly you know I don't know how many that led to scores I'll look at that and we'll critique that more but you got to have poise in those situations and uh, we just didn't play very smart today Mike what kind of action do you plan to take with the team to prevent that from happening again well I mean we'll look at uh, you know the who the offenders are um, and obviously, it doesn't matter. I mean, whoever, if you're off sides, it hurts the team. And, and so, uh, you know, we'll look at that and, and address those individuals. But we'll address, again, how, how detrimental it is to any type of success that you can have, particularly defensively when you extend those drives. Or, as you saw, uh, two penalties on touchdown plays. I mean, uh, those things, um, th those things are, are egregious, and, and, we, and you can't put up with that. But we've got to go back and teach the, the aspects of, listen, when this happens, um, you know, you put yourself, your teammates in, in, in bad situations, and obviously two of them cost us, cost us points for sure. Mike, what was Ball State able to do in its passing game to kind of prevent the pressure and sacks that you got last week at Pittsburgh? Uh, you know, the, the, the quarterback, again, did a good job of getting the ball out, you know, quickly. Um, you know, and the play action, you know, passes and the run, you know, runs off of that were complimentary. Um, again, he, he did a great job of running the offense, the style of offense that they that they use. Um, to his credit, you know, he took advantage of, uh, of of us, you know, peaking sometimes and not not being aware of what's going on, and we paid dearly for it. Could you talk about <clears throat> David's play? Had a couple early – seemed to be overthrowing receivers early, and then late things just weren't happening for him. Uh, you know, again, you, you know, he has to be accountable, responsible for the you know for the throws that he makes. We got to be accountable, responsible for the routes that we, we run. Uh, you know the whole passing game has to be. Guys have to be in tune to what's going on. And it looked like out there today that, you know there wasn't you know guys weren't in tuned as uh, you know as we need to be for sure, because of the turnovers and um, you know those the missed the missed opportunities to convert third downs and move the chain. Uh, obviously, you made a lot of changes, new receivers, different different look on the line. Uh, do you feel like you got any of those those questions you know, answered with, with with that change today? Yeah, we'll we'll see. You'll, we'll look at it and uh, and grade the film. And you know, there's there's a lot of things you look at, not just the catches, but the alignments, uh, blocking. You know, um, all those things are they running the right route? So, you know, that evaluation you know, will be made after after the coaches have a chance to watch the, watch the tape, but. You know, I know Keon Johnson made a couple couple catches, some some athletic catches. So, you know, there's a bright spot there. But overall, we didn't play well enough to win to to, to allow the team to have some success. And uh, we have to, like I said, go back and and, and make sure we we're doing everything we can to help this team succeed. Coach, you uh, you talked about the three turnovers a little bit already, but you still had 459 yards on offense. What does that kind of say about the offense's performance today? Well. Moving the ball 
is, is important. You know, um, it's one of those games that, you know, if you play better defensively, then you might have an opportunity with, you know, with the chances that you had on offense, even with the three turnovers. But you don't want to have turnovers. Um, you know, you want to give your offense, you want to give your defense an opportunity. You want to play and to play hard and limit those those sudden change, you know, uh, turnovers that, that I was talking about. Um, you don't want to have those penalties, you know, those penalties that negate drives and, and get you in third and long situations or, as we, we just talked about, continue first downs for them, you know, third and short and all of a sudden we jump off sides or, you know, third and, third and short and we do something, pass interference or personal foul. You know, those are things that are they're dumb penalties, you know, and, uh, and they're mistakes that, that cost us today dearly. All this flat in what was a big week after last week, do you second guess anything you're doing in practice and do you have any doubt that you should be the coach of, of this team at, at still? Well, my goal is, is to make sure that we do what we need to do to help these players be successful. And that's what I'm committed to doing. And, um, you know, I go to work every day with that mindset. The coaches we have here uh, go to work with that mindset. The players um, come, you know, come to play. When they don't play as well as we need to, then the, this is the result of it. But they're not quitting in that locker room in there. You know, they want to come back again tomorrow and get ready for, for what, seven games left in the season. So, um, you know, we're two and three. That's what we are right now, with a chance to get better. And, uh, and that's all my focus and goal is to do. You had a play late in the game where it looked like Brent Urban stopped a guy in the backfield for a three-yard loss, and then you get an unsportsmanlike or a personal foul, I think, on Eli. What, what happened there, and is that kind of typical of the things you were doing that need to be cleaned up? Uh, it, it's, it's another penalty about not being smart that uh, that occurred that allowed them to extend the drive. And, um, you know, I don't know the particulars of that as of yet, but but I know that you can't do those things. As I said, it was a dumb penalty that uh, allowed them to extend the drive. And uh, you have to do better. You know, you have to be able to play better and understand the situation that you're in. It's, you know, people are out there trying to win games, but you have to have some poise. Mike, what did, what did the coaches tell you upstairs when they looked at the replay of, of Kevin's fumble? Obviously, they, they kept that as, as is. It seemed like maybe his, his back would have been down there. I mean, well, again, i um, not going to get into the particulars of all those things, but, you know, we, we will address that in the manner that, uh, that the ACC allows us to, um, whether you're talking about camera angles, what angle was available, what wasn't available. So, you know, we'll get into the details of that. Uh, as, as we move forward here. Coach, uh, what's the status on Ian Fry now? And uh, can you talk about Alex Day as a kicker? Uh, Ian obviously didn't play this game because of the, the, uh, the hip flexor, you know, that he sustained um, in our last game. Um, you know, so we'll see what happens with him, you know, as, as the week goes on. Um, I thought... Uh, Alex did an excellent job, you know, today handling the, both both duties, the field goals and and punting, and um, you know he will continue to keep doing that as long as he's healthy, and uh, we'll see where Ian is as you know as the week progresses. But uh, again, it's not, I don't look for him to be back anytime soon because you know when you have that type of injury when you're a kicker, you know then um, it may take some time. So again, I said Alex did a great job today, and and. and um, scored some points for us, moved the field with his leg as far as punting. We'll take two more questions because we have players ready for you, Marty. Mike, uh, David Watford and Dominique Terrell were the last ones off the field today. They were holding hands, kind of had their arms around each other, kind of in a show of solidarity. Your thoughts on that, and how do you keep this team together after a loss like that? Well, they're, they're teammates, and um, you know, I'm quite sure there's a lot of negativity, you know, that's 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 going on, that's around. I mean, you know, the only thing you can do is, is teammates is rally around each other, you know, um, not point fingers and point to blame, but you know, take accountability to the fact that it's all of us that have to get it right and get it fixed. And so um, we got to go to work tomorrow, and, and as I say, get ready for our first conference game at Maryland. John, last question. Coach, you had uh, yeah. Ball State had seven first downs by way of uh, penalties, whether it be offsides or personal fouls. Uh, how uh, how big was that? Uh, them, them being able to move the chains by way of you know mental mistakes by the Cavaliers. I mean, you just said it. I mean, it's critical. You know, critical when you have them uh, one stopped, two. Um, you know, you jump off sides to create that that first down and extend the plays. 
you know, they're, they're, they're critical. And we've done a nice job uh, on the penalties, you know, single digit, you know, low, low numbers. And just, uh, you know, just today, just, you know, 13 penalties was just something that uh, was totally unacceptable and, and definitely contributed to, you know, to the problems and issues we had today.